Let's count them. One, Two, three, three four. four. Now let's color our sticks, okay? Hey, I'm Rachel Hockett, and I play the teddy bear on the Mother Goose Club. In real life, I'm a mom to two kids, Olivia and Briley. We love doing holiday crafts like this twinkling star. It's a super easy craft that's fun and educational for kids. In this video, I'd love to show you how to make one. Okay, for this craft, you will need craft sticks. You'll need some glue, you'll need some markers, some string if you wanna hang it up, and you'll need some decorations. Now your decorations can be anything that'll glue nicely to the sticks. We've got some big sequins here we're gonna use for ours. And you can get all of your craft supplies at your local craft store or online. Now be careful if you're using sequins or small decorations if you have young children, because my son tries to eat them, so watch out for that. Crafting is really fantastic for kids because when they're doing crafts, they're working their finger muscles. And those finger muscles prepare their little fingers to hold a pencil and write, which is a very important skill for when they go to school. Okay, we're ready to craft. Now, the first step is to pick your shape. You can glue four sticks together to make a starburst star, or you can glue five sticks together to make a five point star, or you can glue six sticks together to make a Star of David. I'm gonna make a starburst, so I'll take four. Next, I'm gonna color my sticks yellow, my favorite color. Now, younger kids might get tired after coloring for a few minutes, and that's totally okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. That is the charm of kids' artwork. You can help your child finish their craft if they ask you, or you can just let it be. Next, glue the craft sticks in the shape that you want. You can do this step for your kids if they're too little. Then, set it aside to dry for a good 10 minutes. Now, it's time to decorate. For younger kids, you may need to do the craft for them up to this point, so all they have to do is glue on a few decorations. Just squeeze drops of glue and add the decorations. Steps like this help to build your child's fine motor skills. Those are the muscle movements that help little fingers pinch, pull, poke, and sort. All done. Now let the decorations get good and dry. And here's a quick tip. While you're waiting for your glue to dry, you can boost your child's learning by asking questions and talking about the craft. Every bit of conversation you have with your child will help your child learn new words and practice talking. Some good crafty questions are, what color is this? Or, what shape is that? Or, how does the glue feel? And also, how many sequins are on that stick? Finally, if you want to hang your star, just glue a loop of string to the back. Now, take a look at how this craft went for me and my kids. Let's pick out four sticks, okay? So we're gonna make a star bus. One, two, two three, four. four! Good job! Now let's color our sticks, okay? A, B, C. What color do you want to color yours, Bradley? You want to color this? Good job! That's wonderful, and I love the color you're choosing. Mommy, look. Oh, that's so beautiful! It kind of looks like the colors that are on an American flag. See? Red and blue. A star! Very good! Before you glue the sequin, baby, we're going to actually glue the sticks together. There you go. And then wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. One more drop of glue. Thank you. Good job. Thank you for sharing. Olivia? I love it! Can you find me a star shape sequin? Give me, give mommy a star. <gasps> oh my goodness! They're so good! They're so good! <laughs> <laughs> I want you to put all of it like... Like all, all the way across? Okay. okay. Like all the way across from here. So there, so there, so there, so there. Swingle, swingle.
kids loved doing that craft. And I love knowing that they got a chance to work with their fingers, that they use their fine motor skills, and that we had a chance to talk. So give our Twinkling Star craft a try and show me how it goes. <laughs> Let's take a look at some photos and videos from families who tried this craft. those turned out so great. Thank you to all our families who sent in photos and videos. You can send yours on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Want more starry action? Watch our other Twinkle videos and hit us up with questions or anything in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our next video. All right, craft stars, start decorating and we'll see you soon. You may need to do the craft up to this. Next, you glue the sticks together. That's wonderful, and I love the color you're choosing. You can choose. It's a popsicle stick. No, we don't have any popsicles. It's a stick. It's a popsicle stick. Okay. <laughs> Those are the finger movements that help children learn to pull. This is blue. Let's glue it on your star. Hey, 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 Riley. <sighs> but is this blue? No. Yes, it is. Hair, poke their brother. Wait, Riley, are you I eating the sequins? Super. Riley, give it to mommy. Give it to mommy. Thank you. Okay. All right, now. Hi, I'm Jane, and these are my kids, Alex and Emily. Hi! These guys love to play pretend, which is fantastic because they're using their imaginations and practicing social skills. Sometimes, we like to create simple props like these bunny ears. Props are a great way to spark the imagination. Today we'll show you how to make these bunny ears out of paper plates and cotton balls. <laughs> okay. For this craft, you'll need heavy paper plates that are white on at least one side, crayons, cotton balls, a pencil, safety scissors, and glue. The first step is to fold your plate in half like this. Next, draw the ear shape with a pencil like this. Now cut around the outline you just drew. If your kids can handle child safe scissors, it's a good idea to let them try cutting. Cutting with scissors develops finger muscles, which kids need when they learn to write. If you're not comfortable with your kids using scissors, you can just do the cutting for them, or use a pre-cut plate so they can just assemble. Now open the plate and color the inside of the bunny ears any color you want. I'm doing pink. my favorite part, adding cotton balls to make the ears fluffy. You can glue the cotton balls on as is, like this. Or stretch out the cotton balls and stick them on with little dabs of glue like this. Looking great, guys. Now let's let our bunny hats dry. You can adapt this craft to make bear ears, frog eyes, antlers, or anything else your kids can imagine. 
If you want to extend this craft, you can paint the hat different colors or add extras like feathers and glitter. Ha, 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 ha. Well, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Let's pretend that I'm the mommy bunny and you're the baby bunny. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. The best part of doing this craft is getting to play bunnies when you're done. Try making the bunny hat at home with your kids. And if you're the sharing type, please send me photos and videos. For more bunny fun, you and your kids can sing along with our bunny hop. You can find the video on YouTube. Hit us up with questions or comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our next video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jane, and I love crafting with my kids, Alex and Emily, because it helps them learn a lot about themselves and how to get along with others. These are important skills for success in school. I like doing crafts because you can turn trash into pretty things. And I love glitter! So in this video, we're going to show you a fun craft that turns empty water bottles and toilet paper tubes into musical shakers. With glitter! <laughs> yes, Alex, plenty of glitter. <laughs> for each shaker, you need an empty and dry water bottle. The short eight ounce kind works best a toilet paper tube or paper towel tube cut in half, scissors, electrical tape, a funnel, and something to fill the bottle with. We're using beans to make noise and glitter to make it pretty, but you can use whatever you want. Little jingle bells, paper clips, rice, beads, and confetti, anything that'll fit. All right, let's get started. The first step is to fill your bottles a third of the way with beans and glitter or whatever you're using. I've learned early on that it's best to keep glitter in a contained region. It can get pretty messy. Put that lid on good and tight. We cut the tube next, right? That's right. Do you want to go first? Sure. Emily can do her own cutting, but usually I handle it for Alexandra, especially when it comes to thicker material like cardboard. All done. Now. Can you put this over the mouth of the bottle? Step five, tape the tube to the bottle. Make sure to tape the tube very securely to the bottle. I know the next step. What is it? Decorating with tape. That's right. Yeah, and I want to use silver, blue, and white. Oh my goodness, okay, let's do it. Why don't we start with silver first? Okay. Great. How about I will cut the pieces of tape for you, and then you can tape them on the tube. Okay. Emily, are you done with the white tape yet? Can I use it? Sure. One thing I love about crafting is that it's a great way to teach your kids how to take turns and work together. Look, Mom, I made a heart. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. I made one for you too, Alex. Thank you so much. So are you guys all done? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to try them out? Sure. sure. Let's do it. And there you have it. These shakers are pretty to look at and fun to play with. And when your kids use them as instruments, they learn about rhythm and patterns. Try this craft at home and let us know how it goes with a photo or video tagged Mother Goose Club or leave comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for other crafts, tips, activities, and more. Bye! Let's do it again. <laughs> From there? Okay. Okay. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Carolyn. And this is my friend Phoebe. Hi. I love when Carolyn babysits because we always do fun craft projects together. One of our all-time favorites is a bouquet made out of egg carton flowers. I love it because the flowers never go bad. And I love to paint. In just a few easy steps, you can make your own bouquet perfect for springtime, Mother's or Father's Day. We'll show you how. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the supplies you'll need. You'll need acrylic paint, brushes, paper plates for palettes, scissors, water, the bottom of an egg carton, paper towels, and pipe cleaners. The first step is the best, paint. That's right, Phoebe. To get started, just paint the inside of your egg carton and then flip it over and do the outside. Each cup will be one flower and you can paint them however you like. What color are you using? I'm making a lot of purple ones. Ooh, good choice. Why purple? It's my favorite, plus, then it'll match my room. Hmm. When kids make simple decisions, like picking a paint color, they're actually developing their critical thinking skills. All right, now that we've finished the inside, let's flip it over and paint the outside. One reason I love crafting with kids is that it helps them with their hand-eye coordination, which is helpful for so many things like writing and playing sports. And plus, it's a great way for kids to practice counting in a fun way. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Thank you. Now that we're finished, let's let these dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. While we wait, let's sing Merry, Merry, Quite Contrary. That's a flower song. That's a great idea. Merry, Merry, Quite Contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. <laughs> great job. Now that the cartons are dry, I'll poke little holes in the bottom with scissors. Now I'll cut out each flower. And I'll pick out the stems. This part is a bit tough, so an adult really needs to do it. Six for me, and two, three, four, five, six for Carolyn. Okay, now we'll add the stems. Just make a little loop around your finger, like this, so that the pipe cleaner stays in place. And there you go, for you. <laughs> Beautiful. The last step is cutting petals into the cups. You can cut a lot and have little petals like this. Or if you cut just a few times, you get big petals like this or you can leave them as is. I want big petals. <laughs> you got it. Here are your scissors. And there you have it. Beautiful egg carton bouquets, perfect for decorating or gifts. Try this project at home and let us know how it goes by hashtagging your photos and videos with Mother Goose Club or by tagging us here on YouTube. And tune into our YouTube channels to find lots of fantastic videos for you and your kids. Thanks for dropping by and happy crafting. <laughs> In this video, we're gonna show you how to make these beautiful Valentines with your kids. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Carolyn, and these are my good friends Phoebe. Hi. And her little sister Kira. Hello. Carolyn's the best babysitter ever. We always do craft projects together. Well, I'm glad you like my projects because crafting is so good for your brains. It promotes creativity and it teaches kids how to problem solve when things don't turn out exactly as planned. And doing a craft project is a great way to practice fine motor skills, which we need for writing. You are so smart. Today, we're gonna show you how to make these beautiful valentines using a toilet paper tube as a stamp. We'll show you how. For this craft, you're gonna need some construction paper, a pencil, some safety scissors, some toilet paper tubes, paper plates, and some paint. The first step is to make a paper heart. Just fold your construction paper in half like this. Good job. And then you draw a half of a heart as a cutting guide. Just be sure to start at the crease. Phoebe can do this step by herself, but I'm gonna help Kira and draw the line with her. Good job. See, it's a half a heart. And then just cut it out. If you're not comfortable with your kids using scissors, you can always start them with a pre-cut heart and just let them do the decorating. Let's see. Yay! Beautiful. To decorate our cards, I'm gonna show you how to make stamps out of a toilet paper tube. I love this trick. You just flatten the tube like this and then fold one end in like that. See, it's a heart. Now just dip it in the paint and stamp away. Here's another nifty trick. You can also make a flower stamp. Phoebe, can you show us how? Love to. You just smush the tube to make a petal shape like this. Then you dip it in the paint and stamp it on, connecting each petal at one end. What a beautiful flower. Wow, I love it. And another option is that you can simply just use the tube as a circle stamp. Okay, guys, let's make more valentines. I'm gonna make flowers this time. I'm gonna do hearts and flowers. Great idea. guys, these turned out great. You're gonna make a lot of people very happy. Carolyn, we made this one for you. Aw, thanks guys. And I made these for you. Thank <laughs> you. Aw, thanks. <laughs> Try making these Valentines at home with your kids and send us a photo or video to show us how they turned out. And tune into our YouTube channels to find lots of fantastic videos for you and your kids. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Mother Goose Club Playhouse!